Laplace continuation example. The last class we were discussing class method, static method, and the instance method. Class student, now I'm defining one non static variable. Next one, I'm defining one constructor. Self dot student ID equal to one zero one. Self dot student name equal to now I am defining class method. How to create a class method by using class method decorator. Next one, T of class method name college underscore info. It will take the default parameter CLS. Now here I am defining one attribute name CLS dot college underscore address. Next one, print of student dot <coughs> college name print of cls dot college underscore address now this is a class method we can access the class method from outside the class by using a reference variable or by using class name now here i am creating a one reference by using reference variable s1 dot college underscore info next one college name student dot college underscore info xyz hyd and xyz again hyd next one here i am defining before that one i am trying to access non static variables data within the class method suppose print of dot student id now then immediately we will get the error message already in the last class i am explaining in the class method we can access only class level data what is the class level data? Static data, college name, and only college address. We cannot access the non-static data. Now I want to create a one instance method, DEF. If you want to create instance method, don't require any decorators. Student underscore info. Simply, it takes the default parameters, self. In the, which one? instance method we can access both the class level and the instance level data print of self dot sid the print of self dot s name the print of student dot college underscore name observing very clearly this is also one static class variable we can access this class variable outside the class method compulsory class name is required don't use in cls the cls is available only within the class method print again student dot college underscore address now i'm calling s1 dot student underscore info But we cannot access this instance method with the help of class name. If you want to access the instance method, compulsory we need to require reference variable. Student dot student underscore info. Now we are getting the error message. Next one, I am defining one static method. How to create a static method by using static method decorator? J 
general method I am defining add x comma y print of x plus y. Okay, we can access the static method by using a reference variable s1 dot add of comma five. Now it is executed. Next one, we can access the class name is also possible. Student dot add of 10 comma 20. Okay, this is a class method. In that class method, we can access only class level data. We can access the class method from outside the class by using which one reference variable or class name. This is an instance method. Instance method don't require any decorator, but instance method take the default parameter as instance, like as a cell. Next to one in instance method, we can access both class level data and the instance level data. This is instance level data. This is a class level data. Next one, we can access the instance method with the help of which one reference variable. We cannot access the instance method with the help of class name. Here we will get the error message. If you want to access the instance method compulsory, we need to creating an object through the reference variable only we can access the instance methods. Next, this is a static method. If you want to create a static method by using static method decorator, next one in the static method, we are using some generalized data that is not related to class and instance. Next one, we can access the static methods from outside the class by using a reference variable or by using class name. Right, this one. Completely. Without static method decorator, without static method, decorator, we are creating a static methods. Without static method decorator, we are creating a static methods.
I'm creating a one static method with the help of static method decorator. Next one, I'm creating a one more static method. Print hello. here m1 and m2 are both are static methods but one static method i am creating with the help of static method decorator one more static method i am creating without static method decorator okay within the class we can creating a method directory without any default parameter like as a cell now that method act as a static method we can take the cell that is a instance method Now observing very clearly what is the difference between M1 and M2. T1 equal to test class. We can access the M1 method with the help of class name. Test dot M1. Next one, T1 dot M1. This is a static method with the help of static method decorator. That method we can access. Both the class name is possible and a reference variable is also possible. Next one, test dot m2. We can access this non this one. This is also static method. This static method with the help of class name. Now it is access, but with the help of a reference variable p1 dot m2, I will get the error message. Okay, both are static methods, but m1 access by using class name or reference variable. But M2 access by using only class name. We cannot access the reference variable. Next concept, nested classes, nested classes. You can define a class inside Another class. Is known as a nested classes. Can define a class inside another class he is known as a nested class class name we get also class class name That this class is nothing but a outer class. This class is nothing but a inner class. Okay. Next one, when we are using nested classes.
without existing of without existing of any one type of object object there is no chance to there is no chance to existing of another type of object without existing of any one type of object there is no chance to existing of another type of object in that case we are using nested classes without existing of any one type of object there is no chance to existing of another type of object in that case we are using nested classes concept Now observing very clearly. For suppose I want to establish one college. Okay, what is the major requirement? That college is affiliated to any one university. Without university, there is no chance to existing college. Here, observing very clearly, without existing of any one type of object, there is no chance to existing of another type of object. Okay, without existing of this university class object, there is no chance to existing of college class object. In that case, we are using nested classes concept. Now, observing very clearly. Now I'm taking as a class animal. Now I'm taking as a lex equal to four. Next one, I'm defining one more class, cat class. In that cat class, I'm defining one method, dark method. Print. Cats are having legs. Percentile of class name animal dot legs. Next print of cats are barking. Next one I'm taking as one more class, dog class. Part of shelf method. Print. Dogs are having. Legs, horizontal of animal dot legs, print of dogs are barking. observing very clearly without creating animal class i am trying to creating a cat class c1 equal to any minute we will get there a message name 
cat is not defined where it is available inside the animal class first we need to create animal class object then only we can access the cat class p1 equal to animal class after that one a1 dot cat next one p1 equal to a1 dot dog p1 dot bark method correct Completed. Next one, nested methods. We can define method inside another method. We can define a method inside another method known as a nested method. We can define a method inside another method is known as a nested method. Class, class name. attributes of method name of method name Okay, inner method we need to take as a static method, but outer method we can take anything, either in static or class or instance. Next one, when we are using nested methods, if we want to achieve the achieve the reusability reusability of code. Within some methods, within the methods, 
if we want to achieve the reusability of code within the methods in the case we are using nested methods concept if we want to achieve the reusability of code within the methods in that case we are using nested methods concept Completed. Okay, observing very clearly. Class calculation. Defining one method at the method. Now I am defining the non-static variable self dot x equal to 4, self dot y equal to 5. Now print off self dot x plus self dot y. Next one print hello. Next self dot x equal to string object. Self dot y equal to String object print of help dot x plus help dot y next one print now self dot x equal to 2.3 help dot y equal to 3.2 print of self dot x into self dot y next one print by statement now creating a calculation object now c dot i am calling mathematic This is a normal example, not a nested method.
completed. Completed. I'm observing very clearly in this example, we can performing plus operation three times. These three times we can defining separate separate variables. Now observing very clearly. Now I am defining one method. Simply I am using x comma y. Print of x plus y at the time of calling this function or method, we are passing the values. In that situation, these three statements are not required. Next one, one more time, I am calling add. First parameter, I am passing Shiva, and the second parameter, I am passing Krishna. In that situation, these three statements are not required. Next one, I am calling a one more time, add from add method, I'm passing 2.3 under 3.2. These three statements are not required. Okay, within the method, we can achieve the reusability. That means only one time we can define this logic, but any number of times we are using. No same result we are getting. Okay, if you want to achieve the reusability of code inside the method, in that situation we are using nested methods concept. Okay, this is the example of nested methods. Okay, previous one that is a single method. But this is a method inside method example. Next one, how to add the attributes to the class and object.
sir in the previous example we are are we using that nested methods or not sir okay this is a normal one ah yes sir yes sir. The, in this one only. here i am using nested method this is a method inside another method okay sir. this is our outer method this is inner method okay sir. previous example is for normal the previous one example is a normal method that is not okay. a nested methods concept Okay, okay why we are using nested methods concept within the method we can achieve the reusability of flow in the situation we are using nested method here i am okay. defining totally how many statements year 3 statements required year 3 yes, statements sir. required and year 3 total 9 statements are required but in this scenario 3 yes, next one one again one totally five statements that means we are reducing four statements of logic okay sir. next one how to add the attributes to the class and object we can add the static attributes to the static attributes to the class from outside of that class from outside of that class by using class name that class name dot attribute name dot equal to value we can add the static attributes to the class from outside of that class by using class name class name dot attribute name equal to value next one we can add the non static attributes to the object from outside of that class by using a reference variable reference variable dot attribute name equal to value how to add the attributes to the class and object completed next one how to delete the attributes from the class and object now observing very clearly we can delete the static attributes static attributes from the class from outside of that class outside of that class by using del keyword by using del keyword del space class name dot attribute name del space class name dot attribute name next one we can delete the non static attributes from the object from outside of the class by using else keyword el reference variable dot add 
attribute name. Next observing very clearly. Class, class name test. Here I am defining one static variable, 10. Now I am defining M1 self. Now here I am defining one non-static variable, self.a equal to 1. Now print off how to access the static attribute within the method by using class name test dot which one x. Now I want to access the non-static variable print of self dot a. Now I am creating t1 object t1 equal to test class. Next one t1 dot m, m con calling. Now I want to adding the one static attributes to that particular test class. How to adding test dot attribute name y equal to 20. Now I want to adding the one non-static attribute to that particular object t1 dot b equal to 2. Next one I want to creating a one more new object t2 equal to test class. Now t2 dot m1 method I am calling. Now I am adding one more test class attribute test dot z equal to 30. Now I am adding one non-static attributes to t2 object. Now t2 dot b equal to 3 I am using. Now observing very clearly print of test dot x that means y print of test dot z print of t1 dot b print of t2 dot b. Now delete which one static attribute del class name test attribute name I am using y. Now I am deleting non-static attribute delete reference variable t2 dot I am using b. Now print of t1 dot b. Write this example. Completed. Now observing very clearly. Okay, whenever this test class is executed internally to allocate the some amount of our test class. Okay, this is a test class memory location in the test class memory location now whenever the statement is executed to allocate the memory space for x variable now x is a static variable next one control will go to the statement this is a which statement method definition it is not executed then immediately control will go to here This is a which statement? Object creation. Now, in our test class memory location, one object is created for test class. T1 equal to test class. One object is created. OK. Next one, control will go to this statement. This is a which statement? M1 calling. Now, control will go to M1 definition. Now, M1 body logic is executed. Now, self.a to allocate the memory space. This is a which variable? Non static. This is related to object. Now, a allocating the some amount of memory in the t1 object next one test dot x value is printed what is the x value 10 is printed and what is the a value 1 is printed now our method execution is over then immediately control will go to 
the next statement of the previous m1 calling what is the next statement test dot y equal to 20 control go to here to here now this is a which one we are adding the static attribute now this is the static attribute place now y equal to 20 next one control will go to the statement this is a which statement t1 dot b this is a non static variable where we can adding the non static variable within the t1 object now in the t1 object b equal to 2 okay next one control will go to the statement this is a which statement another new object creation t2 equal to test class new object is created okay now observing very clearly control will go to this one this is a which statement m1 calling then immediately control will go to m1 definition now again m1 body logic is executed to allocate the memory space for which one non-static variable already we will discuss it the non-static variables memory allocation within that method we can define the non-static variables within the method in that situation the non-static variables memory allocation depends upon the number of times you are calling a method or otherwise we can define the non-static variable within the constructor how many objects we are created that number of times to allocate the memory space for non-static variable but uh, static variable to allocating the memory space only one time now again to allocate the memory space for a within the t2 object now a equal to now again this logic is executed now again in which message is printed x value 10 is printed and a value 1 is printed next control will go to the next statement of the previous m1 calling control will go to here now we are adding one more static attribute z equal to 30 next one control will go to the statement within the t2 object we are adding one more non-static variable that static variable name is also b now b equal to 3 okay within the t1 object b value is 2 within the t2 object b value is 3 next one test dot y now what is the y value y value 20 is printed test dot z value 30 is printed t1 dot b value 2 is printed t2 dot b value 3 is printed now delete test dot y now this attribute is deleted next one delete t2 dot b now this b is deleted but it's still a t1 b is available now t1 dot b value is what is the t1 dot b value 2 That is the execution flow. Is a result 10 1 10 1 20 30 2 3 2.
okay, by mistakenly we are trying to access the t2.p we will get the error message okay already we are deleting t2.p for suppose i'm accessing test.y okay again we will get the error message Okay, next one, built-in attributes of a class. Built-in attributes of a class. Whenever we are creating a class, whenever we are creating a class, internally, our Python interpreter will add some attributes to the class, the type of attributes are called built-in attributes of a class built-in attributes of a class whenever we are creating a class internally our python interpreter to add some attributes to that class the type of attributes are called built-in attributes of a class example under under doc to return the documentation, to return the documentation in of a class. Underscore, underscore, name, underscore, underscore. To return the name of the class or class name. Underscore, underscore, basis. underscore underscore to return the base class name in python python by default by default object class is the object class is the super class of all other classes underscore underscore model underscore underscore to return the name of the model Python by default every file act as a one module. That module is called main module. underscore underscore dict underscore underscore to return the sum of the built-in attributes built-in attributes and user defined attributes in the form of Dicta object, the form of dicta object. Underscore underscore init for constructor. It is a constructor. Underscore underscore del underscore underscore 
Dr. Underscore underscore MRO underscore underscore to return the method resolution order underscore underscore str underscore underscore to return the string object to return the string object. It is a user understandable underscore underscore r e p r to return the original representation Original representation of an object. Next underscore underscore hash to generate the hash code. To generate the hash code and so on. Completed. Okay, next class, I'm explaining one example. After that one, how to access the properties from one class into another class. In that case, we will discuss it as a relationship and easy relationship.